You're kind of a force of nature, aren't you? When I need to be. It's impressive. You flatter me. I'm trying. Did I do the right thing? <laughs> what I have set in motion here could destroy everything I have revered my whole life. One day they may write about me as a traitor, a madwoman, a fool, and they may be right. What does your faith tell you? I believe you are innocent. I believe more is going on here than we can see. And I believe no one else cares to do anything about it. They will stand in the fire and complain that it is hot. But is this the Maker's will? I can only guess. You don't think I'm the Herald of Andraste? I think you were sent to help us. I hope you were. But the Maker's help takes many forms. Sometimes it's difficult to discern who it truly benefits, or how. What's going to happen now? Now, we deal with the Chantry's panic over you before they do even more harm. <clears throat> then we close the breach. We are the only ones who can. <sighs> After that, we find out who is responsible for this chaos, and we end them. And if there are consequences to be paid for what I have done, I pay them. I only pray the price is not too high. You didn't have any choice. Didn't I? My trainers always said, Cassandra, you are too brash. You must think before you act. I see what must be done and I do it. I see no point in running around in circles like a dog chasing its tail. But I misjudged you in the beginning, did I not? I thought the answer was before me, clear as day. I cannot afford to be so careless again. Can't say I'm not grateful to hear that. I can be harsh, I know. You've said you believe you're chosen. Does that mean you believe in the Maker? I believe he exists. That's comforting. Surely the Maker put us both on this path for a reason. Now it simply remains to see where it leads us. <laughs>